The left hand English makes it possible, after touching the short cushion, to readjust the course of the cue ball towards the long cushion. Here, the reverse English is more appropriate than the bottom English via three cushions, since it allows to eliminate all risk of a counter contact. Since the red ball is located close to the long cushion, it is very important to combine a top hit with a fast movement, which also tends to position the player's ball close to the long cushion. You have to be careful not to plunge by keeping the cue on a horizontal level. This time, since the red ball is located more distantly to the long cushion, you must think of slowing down the movement by using maximum English. Here too it is important to slow down the movement, on one hand to gain precision, on the other hand to make sure that the English is as efficient as possible when touching the short cushion. Remember that to apply maximum English to the cue ball, you have to hit it at its center level. The smoothness of the shot is also an element of precision. Since the reverse shot is extremely difficult to play due to its thinness, the follow shot may be the best solution here. It makes it possible to apply maximum English to the ball according to the same principle as the long shot. Here is another example showing the efficiency of the follow shot for the reverse English. 
Being hit very full, the red ball allows the cue ball to double the short cushion before the reversal takes place. The bottom draw by the centre is rather rare, but just as efficient for playing a reverse shot. It slows the ball down without altering the lateral rotation. Here's a beautiful example. Since the reverse shot on the red ball leads to a counter contact, the player may choose another reverse by applying bottom draw to the yellow ball, which determines the curve making it possible to modify the incidence on the short cushion. Since the red ball is close to the cushion, you need to hit slightly lower to add maximum lateral English, which adds the long English to the reverse shot. This time, the red ball is located more distantly from the cushion. So, by playing very high with a bit of English, the follow quality predominates over the long quality. This example shows that it's also possible to play a reverse shot via four cushions. The red ball being hit quite full, it allows the cue ball to keep enough English to execute the reverse on the short cushion. We also call reverse shots those shots which, thanks to a counter English, make it possible to obtain the desired English on the second cushion. Here is an example making it possible to resolve a pretty tricky situation. Here is another example of a reverse shot via four cushions. It illustrates that it's sometimes wiser to seek solutions by reverse shots rather than looking for alternative courses via three cushions, which are often more difficult to execute.
Here again, the solution by a reverse allows to solve a difficult situation. By hitting the ball rather full and lower, the player slows his ball down and this allows him to keep a maximum English on the second cushion. The reverse cushion first shots are also very useful when balls 2 and 3 are close to the cushions. Maximum English is recommended, since it allows the player to keep his attention on the target spot on the cushion. Hitting at the top with a fast movement, you can repeat the long cushion in this point.